The Jungle Book, directed by John Favreau and starring Neil Sethi and probably like 10,000 animators. Live action version of the old animated classic. Live action. Live action version of the animated classic. Eric, what are your first thoughts on the film? Really enjoyable movie. Incredibly engaging. This is a story that's fairly thin on plot. It's based on a very short book. This is a movie that's entirely about the uh, characters and the character interactions and the chemistry between them. And for a huge chunk of it, it, it delivers on that. Yeah, I really enjoy the visuals of the movie. It's very hard to believe that every single thing in this movie, except for the young actor, is completely animated. Um, but yeah, that blew me away. I mean, like the entire time, that was the hardest thing for me to believe was watching everything that we were on screen was none of that was real. Water streams, I mean, just visually it was awesome. You know, I, I enjoyed it though. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. Yes. A little different than the original. Not that much, but enough to, to make it stand out a little bit from it. When the animals speak, uh, they were the most interesting, I mean, like the actors behind the animals were the standout to me. I mean, I, you can make an entire movie with just animated um, animals the way that they did, and I could watch that movie. I don't need a live-action actor. I like how all the animals were somewhat designed to sort of uh, visually portray their voice counterpart, mm -hmm. but not in a way that's very jarring, that makes it very distracting. Bill Murray as Baloo. Awesome, lovable, fall in love with the character immediately, and I thought he personified that character just as well as the voice actors did uh, when they did the original, and Tailspin, too. Yeah, you really get the, the connection between the two. You become invested in the two of them, in the relationship, and you really feel that Baloo uh, cares for Mowgli towards the end. Idris Elba was fantastic. I mean, he was an absolute perfect casting for this role. Uh, every time that he came on screen, you absolutely felt his presence. You did... Uh, get a sense of fear from everybody, all the other characters, whenever he was on screen. Yeah, he plays a scary bad guy for an animated character. I mean, I, like, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not seven anymore, but I was pretty frightened by his character. He's so confident in what a, in what a badass he is that he hasn't had to really, you know, try to be fearful. The best performance in the film for me was definitely Ben Kingsley as Bagheera. I agree, actually. It's animated so well, and like you were saying before, there's kind of an essence to him um, in that character and you know authoritative uh, well told and he's the one who's narrating the story as well and I mean as soon as you hear Ben Kingsley's voice you're locked in. You're totally engaged when he's speaking. You definitely tell the guy is has great knowledge about the jungle and the rules and how it how the entire community works. Now Christopher Walken played King Louis. Uh, he was very good, got the opportunity to sing. A solid performance. I mean, you know, getting to hear Christopher Walken sing was, was awesome. Uh, we also have uh, Ka, played by Scarlett Johansson, and was a terrific voice casting. In this movie, she does a great job. The problem is that it's almost like a glorified cameo, mm -hmm. in a way. The entire purpose of her character is just to spew out exposition, and that's my entire, that's really my problem with that character. She didn't have a purpose in the film. Sit to the credits or a good portion of them, and you'll pick up a song that they must have cut out of the movie, because Scarlett Johansson did get the opportunity to sing the Trust in Me song, uh, but it's only in the credits, and you know I think that would have made it a little bit of a more enjoyable scene yeah. for her. Well animated as it was, and engaging, it still felt a little, it's so light on plot, that I feel like I'm stretching to just get character moment after character moment. Uh, I disagree with that. I, I felt that the strength of the movie is just like I said, it's the character interactions and the chemistry between them. The problem I had with the movie, I thought the first third of the movie was kind of rushed. They're looking for that very heartfelt, uh, sentimental scene to there, and you don't really get it. Second third settles down, and by the third... Uh, final third of the movie, I was totally engaged. Beautiful visuals, be careful taking kids. There were a couple jump scares in this movie, surprisingly. So we're gonna go ahead and give the movie some final grades here. I'm gonna give the movie a solid B. Uh, very well performed, looks great. If it had a little bit better plot... Okay, a little higher, I'm gonna go with A-. minus. I was engaged well throughout and incredibly invested in the characters. I loved the interactions and how they worked off one another. So yeah, A-. minus. Hope everybody gets a chance to see this movie. It's definitely worth seeing in the theater. You're going to want the big sound. Yeah. You're going to want the big screen. Um, you know, don't don't cheat yourself out of that. So remember to follow us on Twitter. I'm at they know Stay Dead. I'm at Eric Braddock. Subscribe to our channel. Like this if you uh, thumbs up if you like this thing. And, uh, you know, let us know what you think. Comment below.